Hello, this is Robert Allegretti with Global Bay Mobile, and I'm going to be demonstrating uh, our standalone mobile point of sale application. Um, this is a point of sale application uh, targeted uh, at, uh, say, uh, service users, uh, contractors, uh, people who are going to need to be taking uh, uh, transaction information, be it cash or credit or debit. Uh, in the field, uh, perhaps out at, uh, at homes, uh, or businesses, uh, service sites, etc. So what we have here is the uh, initial home screen, which is a customer list. Um, we could create a new customer. Uh, we could review specific customer's information here. Uh, we could take a quick payment uh, if we wish. Uh, if we just, uh, if we don't need to capture um, item information, but just need to process a quick payment. Uh, we can do that from here. Uh, or we can go ahead and select a customer and begin uh, to create a new order. Um, so now we uh, have an order entry list. We can go ahead and add items here. Item entry is uh, menu driven, uh, and these are configurable uh, for individual customers' needs. So for example, uh, we have uh, some general categories here uh, based on some uh, common use cases, uh, contractors, lawn service, um, plumbing, that sort of thing. So we'll go ahead and pick, say, electrical. Uh, and then uh, the next uh, description, the individual item list, is uh, filtered uh, according to the original category selection. So we have some, uh, some uh, pre-priced service elements here. So we can go ahead and uh, select any one of these by a quantity if we wish, and then go ahead and add, and maybe we'll do one more. And then go ahead and tally, and we can see our order total. Subtotal, and then complete. We can add gratuity if we wish specify explicitly or say none. Once we've accepted that as the total, we're taking to the payment screen, similar to what we saw previously for quick pay. So we have our order total. We select a payment option. Uh, we can do cash or credit card. Uh, in this case, uh, our application out of the box is uh, configured to communicate with the authorized.net payment portal for credit card transactions um, and can be uh, configured uh, for other payment providers as well. We're going to go ahead and select cash, and then it's a simple matter of processing. Now the transaction, even though it's a cash transaction, it's still committed and stored to, to the back-end server. Um, if we wish, uh, with an associated uh, printer, uh, such as Zebra or O'Neill, communicating via a Bluetooth or a direct cable connection, we can print a receipt, uh, including uh, appropriately masked credit card information as well as a captured signature. And then we can go ahead and come to our, our web portal on the synchronization server, the back end piece, and refresh our report quickly. And we can see at the end of the report list uh, immediately the uh, Captured transaction is available here, uh, and this information, much like any of our other applications, can be uh, easily exported in a lightweight manner in a CSV or Excel. Uh, or, uh, of course, we can uh, tie into some uh, back-end management system, some database, etc. We see all the deta transaction details, uh, including if it had been a credit card transaction. We could see the, uh, again, appropriately masked values. Um, as well as uh, captured signature information. Um, the individual items applied to the order, um, as well as the uh, uh, record level data, such as uh, what device, uh, what time and date it was created, what user, uh, et cetera. So that's the, the functional piece to the point of sale application. Uh, in addition, there is another level. As I said, uh, the uh, uh, available categories and items are easily configured uh, for individual users, and that's done through a component that we call table variables. 
So in this case, we have one table variable associated with this uh, application and account. Uh, and if we wish, we can go ahead and uh, take a look at that. So we can export it as a simple CSV file, which we can view and edit in Excel. And we can go ahead and we can see uh, how the available items in the application are defined. So we see all of the, it's a very simple uh, category, specific item description, and a price. Um, and then uh, a very non-technical user can uh, make updates, additions, or edits uh, to this file. And then uh, to bring those uh, modifications forward into the application is simply a matter of saving changes to this file, importing the modified file back in through our web interface, and then synchronizing the device.